G'day guys, I thought I'd uh, do a bit of a product review before I start this video, uh, it's something that I normally don't do, but I thought I'd better jump on the bandwagon and everyone else is doing it. Um, I'd like to say a big thanks to MTM Gear for supporting me, um, supporting my videos, helping me out, um, and we do get on a few hunts together, which is always good. Uh, yeah, but I'd just like to say, I'm sure you guys all know about these. Mountain bipod, I haven't found one that is, is as functional and is as lightweight as this. So if you don't know much about them, jump over to Matt's website, MTM Gear, and have a look. I'd also like to say a big thanks to Point South for also supporting me, looking after me with the clothing, giving me advice on what sort of stuff I need. And yeah, enjoy the video. Uh, it's a bit of a short one. We did have a back injury and my old man uh, ended up shooting a bloody good bull for himself. So you guys know what to do. Subscribe, comment, tell me what you want to see and uh, I'll try my best to reply. Cheers guys. it in. Uh, currently in a ballot block for the for the fourth period and not much snow around so balls are all going to be nice and high or extremely low. Um, just set up the set up the tent and um, yeah it's going to be bloody good. Got all of this to hunt. this shoot here um, should be should be nice I've actually uh, spotted a ball already just down on this face um, but yeah we can uh, pretty much hunt all down these faces down this face and up and over the back which um, we really want to me and me and John you really want to push up and over to, to really explore this bit of country um, there is not much to hunt here but I have heard of some good animals being shot so um yeah, just, just set up the tent and sort all our beds out, our gear, make it care proof and um, pretty much go from there. But I'm pretty stoked, pretty happy to be in, in this place. Yep. Bag of coal, about 15 kgs worth of food, box there and there couple of bags we um, have been told by the pilot that we are three people with the, the less gear over the ballot period so the aim of the game is to stay light only do one trip and um, keep the cost down and keep the pilot happy because they do work pretty hard loading this stuff into into the helicopters making it all fit to keep all of the hunters happy but I'm gonna get the rest of the shit set up and uh, we'll go from there. Bloody choice. Just left, a, left the camp behind. And um, I'm gonna go and see if we can glass a ball for daddy-o. I'm really hoping to get a PB ball for him. Something with appropriate age, you know, seven plus. And um, yeah, over 12 inches. He 
they only shot at an 11 and a quarter um, so been real nice for him to shoot a 12 inch ball this trip check out this we've uh, just got dad down on this ridge here glassing over and there's a bloody bull sunbathing um, it looks like it could be 12 inches and uh, it looks like he's showing some age so heads up I have no idea what the fuck is going on John's got no idea what's going on there's a big old bull just below us yeah so I'm just going to put the big camera on and see um Hopefully we can see some nice age rings. Age that bull that we were watching, seven and a half minimum, could possibly be eight and a half. Um, it did, I mean, we pre watched it for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and it somehow picked up a bit of movement and actually got up and um, shot down in a bit of a pocket. And when we did it, actually noticed that it's one of its legs is absolutely rooted and um, we tried to rush and get all shit set up but it just managed to just get around the corner and yeah just didn't have time so there's no point but yeah good ball probably 12 and a half inches definitely has something wrong with it um, so we know that this area will be a good spot for dad it's about 10 minutes from the tent um, but I'm going to sneak down and see if I can get onto some more balls yeah. boys are over here Just spotted that bull. His foot's completely broken, and he's just down below us, hardly walking. So I'm gonna pick the gear up, move down, and I'm gonna go and get Dad and Johnny. All right.
Tell me what happened, John. Quick story. Oh. Quick story. Uh, just saw a bull over the side on the same face as us. Yeah, um, fucking just came around the corner really, eh? and big, big whiff hit us. So stopped and started glassing, and Timmy picked up up this bull sitting down on a ledge, and uh, we watched him for God, how long? 45 minutes probably. Try snuck a bit closer, probably got to within 50, 50 75, 50 of him, and uh, yeah, we weren't too sure, eh? He kept looking up and we were trying to count the age rings uh, under where he stepped in and that, but we're just fuck. we weren't too sure whether whether he was above that seven age mark or not. Uh, then when he, we decided to head back up and talk to dad and see what he wanted to do, and as soon as we moved he decided, um, He'd had enough, and off he went. At that point, we realised he uh, he had about three and a half legs, so decided he was a he was a taker, but he was gone burgers. Tim whipped round the corner for about 20 minutes. I got bored. I started making a cup of coffee, eh? And then uh, Tim comes sprinting back over, doing his alpine sprints, and decides that uh, yeah, nah, fuck he he's just in the river. So off we went and. Um, managed to get onto him about probably about a 90 meter shot if that uh only problem was the angle was about 85 degrees so got him on the ground though just by about three meters any more than that and if you have a look over the side here she wasn't coming back <laughs> all right we'll get down there now it's quite old Quite old. Yeah, eight, eight and a half. Eight, yeah, eight yeah. and a half. There you go. That's what we thought, eh? Seven and a yeah. half, eight. Seven and a half to eight. We uh, judge of that. And obviously, uh, this ball has got three legs. It's got something wrong with it. It's uh, gone well over 12. So that is an absolute ripper ball for Dad. Um, but I want to have a look at this leg. Oh, there you go. Complete. Can't be very old, eh? His fucking coat doesn't come down very far down his legs. Nah. Old snow coming past.
uh, day two. It's been a bloody long day. Um, pretty much been in the tent most of the day. Popped out a few times. Seen a couple of balls on the opposite ridge. But um, yeah, just got a bit of clear weather now. So I'm just gonna jump over to this ridge and have a glass into this basin, see what I can find. It is pretty cold, I think it was minus three, four. Run, rain come through and spit down a bit of snow. But yeah, I'm just gonna push up this ridge, have a look what I can find. Uh, sitting here glassing last light typical it's been shit all day and uh, it's just cleared up we've got one ball up right behind camp up here and um, there's a few young balls around on this face but yeah it's like uh, standing in a freezer at the moment quite a big glacier over on this side um, yeah I'll update you if I see any good bulls or I'll get them on film for you pretty much a pretty much vertical drop straight off the side here Blizzard outside. We've already got the heater going. We're just checking up the gear, making sure that we get a bail out. We uh, can get out quickly, but this, the tent's starting to sag. Got to wait. Truly attacked us. Here is uh, here's the aftermath. Try and spot some tar. Uh, it's bloody cold. But yeah, I'll let you know what's going on. Keep you updated. So my brother's uh, ended up getting a bit of a sore back. So um, quite hard to get him out of bed this morning. But he's basically going to carry no gear. Um, he's going to come up with me but I'm going to try and push up into the top basin and hopefully spot some tar but it is bloody cold yeah, he's just over there by the tent having a bit of a leak but yeah up we go so Johnny's had to Johnny's had to pull pin his, um, his back's too sore so he just got to about there Back down. I'm just going to head back down to camp. I'm going to push up pretty much as far as I can go into this top basin and see if I can find myself a big old bull, which I'm hoping I can. It would be quite nice. But yeah, carry on up, up the hill.
boat back down the hill from up behind me here. Up in there. That bumped into Dad getting some water. What do you reckon, Dad? Bloody good. But yeah, um, John's not in a good state, so he's back at camp with a bad back. So we're going to head back with some water and maybe work out what we're going to do. Might have to pull pin. The Kias have ruined the tents and John's got a bad back. So a few balls spotted, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, health is more, more important. The other one's down here on the slip, straight down there, at the bottom of like the steep bit. Ah uh, well, we're uh, packed up, we're gonna head out, Johnny's, um, Johnny's back's no good, so we're gonna have to call this trip short, unfortunately. Dad walks away, walks away with another awesome trophy, um, get this one mounted on the wall, seeing as it's over 12 inches and it's his first proper trophy. It's also an awesome bull to take out, three legs, no teeth. Really can't beat that to be honest. Um, but yeah, we have spotted quite a few bulls in this area, and um, a lot of them I'd say are around the seven year, seven year age, all around 12, 12 to 13 inches. Um, so not what I'm after. We had a nice 12 and a half, probably seven and a half to eight year old come about 50 meters behind camp this morning. Unfortunately, I ended up spooking it, so I couldn't get any photos of it. Um, but we're just currently waiting for the helicopter for a 3 p.m. pickup and yeah, get out of here. These boys will head back to Wellington. But uh, currently, just watching some animals down here. What do you reckon, Dad? Good trip? Yeah, shame. Didn't get to explore too much of this area. Plenty of cares. What about the care? Tent rackers. Attacked us in the middle of the night, twice. Ripped the tent to shreds. Yeah. But I don't think we're the first ones. We won't be the last. Yeah, this area is well known for the Kia um, being pretty ruthless. But uh, I've actually never seen it that bad. There would have been 20 plus Kia last night. Did a midnight midnight attack, um, and they absolutely destroyed the tent. There's some. Kia size holes all through the bottom. Kind of good that they can't actually land on this style tent up the top. They kind of just pick at the bottom. But yeah, I'm going to keep blasting. If I see a good ball, I'll whip the big camera out and see if I can get some photos of it. But other than that, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. And uh, there should be another trip coming soon.